Hello, we're going to fix until broken. Today, we'll be taking apart a clear modem. This is a 4G wireless modem. Um, the service is long since uh, disabled. I could or something, I don't know if it matters. Uh, what this did was turn 4G networking into Wi Fi or Ethernet, uh, but it does have an Ethernet port. Um, service on this uh, was about 50 bucks a month US and huh, there's a dial-in <laughs> access as well uh, again this is like 50 bucks uh, and this is about five years ago uh, I did have this service uh, it worked great um, except for the 4G signal five years ago in the area I live in was not great. So I had this uh, while I moved uh, during that time when you move and don't have internet. Uh, this worked perfect. Um, this device I think was about $80 at the time. And uh, it was neat because it is uh, 4G, so it's mobile. Uh, this is before it was easy enough to get Wi-Fi on your, or uh, 4G on your phone with a good data plan that was unlimited or mostly unlimited. So there's not a, doesn't seem to be any screws on this thing. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Okay, let me get this thing to focus. There we go. Um, as you can see, it's got this little black band around the edge. Uh, there's some air vents on the top and bottom. I'm not sure which way it's supposed to be oriented, uh, but there's enough air vents that it never really had a problem. Uh, there's a little strip right here on the front of it that's got some LEDs. Uh, I don't know where the power supply for this is, so we're not going to plug it in. Um, it looks like it's just 12 volt, 2 amp. Uh, one thing I do remember about this thing is it got hot. The whole box was pretty toasty. And just a couple seconds here to break into it. Man, it is. Dang it. Stab myself. Really hard to get into because it's fresh, I guess pressure fit. Oh, I can feel myself bleeding a little bit there. Let's get that off. <laughs> Let me fix that real quick. Okay. Sometimes you stab yourself when you're doing these things. Okay. Well, those black edges came off just perfect. And it looks like there are some little bitty screws. Let's see if we can get those out without bleeding on everything. Okay, let's get the blood off this thing again. Sorry about bleeding on everything. We're going to have some fun today. Might as well bleed. Okay, I got two of the weirdest screws and the else just pops apart. Okay. Yeah, let's see what we're looking at here. Here is one antenna. Okay. Uh, there's obviously some giant antennas right there. Pretty good heat sink. Metal box, looks like a Wi-Fi card. In 
can a, a modem, I guess you can hook it up to a <laughs> an old style POTS line. Not sure what the purpose of it was. As you can see when we first saw it, it was blocked off so you could not get in. Maybe this was a a dual purpose. At some point had a modem connection you could use for a backup if the 4G is down. Um, they also sold these at the same time for a little bit more money that were hockey puck sized and they had a battery in them. Um, I was not interested in paying for that so it was I think 150 US dollars. Oh, this thing's going to keep bleeding on me. Okay, so it's a nice little uh, antenna there. Oh, we got another one. Okay. Let's go on the back. Boy, they don't want you looking in those cases, do they? Figured it'd be just a cell phone in here with a data plan. Let's move that up. Oh, pop that up. No problems. Okay. Let's see. Let's see the chip from that. Is it gonna focus? Kind of what you get, I guess, for using your cell phone. Yeah, this video, I'm not using a camera that I normally use. Anyways, I see a Samsung chip. MXIC. B-E-C-E-E-M. So, not sure which uh, companies those are. This looks like it was a dial-up modem, and they just added a Wi-Fi module. And a 4G module. This is just a. Just pops right out. And let me get this thing to focus here. There we go. Yep, that's all we got. And let's see, I finally stopped bleeding a little bit. I don't know if we can take the this one off. Some number markings. Anyways, that's about it. These pigtails come right off. Use these on something else. Get some kind of I'm sure engineered antenna. So that's it. That was the uh, clear wireless. That's about it. Um, it does have some 911 information, so maybe that phone port was to hook into a a wired home phone, uh, so you can get uh, telephone service through this as well. Um, that's a, I guess, kind of neat. Yeah, if you don't have a cell phone, this is this is what you get, I guess. It's not going to be much of anything. Underneath any of these, well, we can certainly look though. Yeah, just some capacitors and really small amount of circuitry. We have some nice isolation there, little track in there. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.